just in conclusion then um we've sort of covered the six areas we wanted to and hopefully the listeners feel way more educated um and feel in a much better place to be able to better understand uh pride and pride month as well um so just in conclusion why is a pride celebration so important um i think it speaks volumes when you can't see yourself being represented anywhere um and uh i think pride gives a pride celebration and pride around the world show young lgbt people that they can exist and they can be a part of society and they can succeed um, again, like I said, when I was growing up, there was no one on TV that looked like me, that acted like me, and I felt very alone. Now that is different. Um, and you have all different types of people on television, still not where it needs to be. But, you know, when you don't see that representation of yourself, you do question, why am I so different then? Why can I not see myself? Am I not the norm? And that's... And that, at the end of the day, not saying that everybody needs to be normal because being normal is boring, but, you know, having, not being able to see yourself or look up to somebody and go, oh my God, I want to be that. that. Not having those representations and stuff um, it is, is important and that's why we celebrate it. Also as well, we celebrate it because there are still 11 countries in the world that you can be put to death if you are on the LGBT um, plus rainbow, which again is ridiculous. Um, I mean, and, and I mean, and I sometimes say, and, and this is where I go with it. I believe personally, you should not be allowed to have any world sport or any Olympics, any film festival, any, anything that celebrates your country if you do not have those rights in place. That's just my little opinion on it. But like where they're possibly having the, um, well, where they were gonna have the World Cup. I can't remember where that is now. Well, it's a Middle either, Eastern sorry. country. Okay. Um, sorry. Um, and they, they stone women. So no way is there gonna be any LGBT plus rights there. Yeah. So um, it's, to me, I think you before we start showcasing you as a, a, an amazing place to host a world games or whatever it is, you've got yeah. to have that stuff in check. And yeah, also as well, I think also it's, it's not helpful when, because there's a new law that's come in recently that Olympians aren't allowed to advocate for rights while they're on an Olympic stage. Now, some people might say, well, they're there to do sport. Yes, I, I get that. However, you have no idea what, who you're speaking to when you are on that platform, you know? And it is that, and it might be that you see somebody on TV that just has their nail, nails painted in the rainbow colors. That could send such a massive message to somebody that just goes, it's okay to be who you are, yeah. you know? And I think that's the biggest message that pride gives you, yes, Yes, it's a celebration. Yes, it's a party. Yes, there's a, there's a, you know, there are lots of events. And some larger prides, I think, have lost their way a little bit because it now has almost become a money-making franchise and a spectacle instead of what it's supposed to be, uh, which, is, uh, which is basically a walk down the road showing people that it is acceptable to be you who you are yeah, That's yeah. Essential so it's, 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 a, it's a liberation rather than anything else rather yes. than a statement yeah it's yeah just a and, and i yeah. think and i think those celebrations are right to happen all over the world and they're right to happen for if you are a minority um i do not believe you need to have a straight pride personally because you are not a minority you have not had any um detrimental factors um, and I actually find it quite funny, the, the states in America where straight pride has happened, there's been like three people turn up. Well, so, well I, this isn't something I, I was going to say. The, the, it's interesting, isn't it, I suppose, because when you, um, you, obviously, because you're closer to the community, you get to find out these things. But 
I didn't even know that was a thing. So straight pride. What? So were there were there people in, in America, America who were straight that felt felt jealous that there was a pride, so they wanted one? Yeah. Like. So they said they said in the terms of equality that there should be a straight pride that happens uh, every year to celebrate straight people, um, which just isn't needed. Um, you could celebrate every day. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, that's why pride. That's why prides exist. And again, like like we were just talking about before, like supporting, going and watching the Pride Parade. I mean, there's so there's such a spectacle. It's unreal. Like Brighton Pride, that city is the goal for Pride. Every single person comes. Every single person celebrates. Every single person. That whole city just celebrates LGBT plus people and has a right good time doing it. Um, and our local Pride, Peterborough, is coming back in 2021 obviously Corona. Um, I personally am doing some awareness bits and pieces um, for Pride because I still think it's important to be aware. Um, uh, and then also there's going to be a, through Embrace events, there's going to be a digital Pride um, performance day as well. So, which I also am a part of. Um, yeah. So there will be visible. It will also all be online. So we're not gathering in Cathedral Square. But yeah, Prides are, Prides are incredibly important. Just yeah. for those, just just to, just so people can see a reflection of themselves on someone. Yeah. Thank you, um, and and thank you so much for joining us, Teddy. Um, just finally, then, um, where can people who are listening find you? How should they follow you? Um, what yeah. cool stuff? What other cool stuff have you got going on? Um, where they can um, get involved? Yeah, so you can follow me on any platform. Uh, Teddy underscore, oh sorry, Teddy957, that's T-E-D-D-I 957. Um, I've got a business page called Teddy the Drag Queen um, and you can book me for anything. Um, so hosting, singing, anything you want. I've been doing some online events as well. They've been quite cool. Um, I'm doing my next online event is on the 28th of June. It's gonna be Drag Bingo. It's basically bingo, but I host and do a little show for you all, so that's really fun. Um, and you can win up to £20 if you win a house, so you get money as well. Um, and then on top of that, um, I also do my bi-weekly uh, talk show, um, which is on my YouTube page. Um, and also I do Fancy Fridays, which is makeup tutorials as well, through my Facebook Lives. Um, so yeah, busy girl. Um, yeah, <laughs> and and you work full time as well. Yeah, and I work full time as well. So it's a lot, but it's a lot. But I thought to myself, um, and I've built my business page since lockdown. So about ten weeks ago, I decided to do that. So um, I also do marketing as well. It's my main job. Um, so, but actually, if anybody wants any sort of tips on how to get more awareness, understanding, or anything like that, obviously they can talk to me about that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. Thank you. I, I, I really appreciate you uh, coming and joining me today, Teddy. And uh, you know, to the listeners, uh, I think uh, one of the things I said to to Teddy just before we started recording was, you know, that darkness can't drive out darkness; only light can. And by shining a light on things, can you drive out darkness? And I think my podcast is all around development, and it's about developing perceptions and mm -hmm. the only way that we grow and develop is through challenging ourselves and challenging mm -hmm. our perceptions and the way we see things so and i think i think this podcast will be very valuable um, and the video as well in in being able for people to challenge their perceptions and just reflect on how they see things think about it walk a mile in someone else's shoes and see what they what they go through and if they can treat them better and if we can create better workplaces um, and certainly develop attitudes too, then everyone's won and the time we've spent is very worthwhile. So thank you very much for joining me, Teddy. And You're welcome. See you again very soon. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning in. We really appreciate your time. Please do follow me at Pete Rushmer on LinkedIn or on Facebook, follow Flagship Training UK, and you can find us on YouTube too at Flagship UK.